Hello everyone and welcome back to Coloring with Haley. Today I have another flip through for you. This is the Matchstick Mouse Autumn Coloring Book by Morgan O'Brien. And I really like the green color that was used for this book, the kind of olive green. But let's go ahead and get started. You have your This Book Belongs To page, which is also the title page. I kind of like that he keeps those as one page. And then it gets right into it. And you guys, most of you know that autumn is my favorite season. So I have a feeling that this is probably going to be one of my favorites. And we have a really cute picture already. Um, it looks like the mouse has perhaps drawn herself, I think. And she's showing it to the worm there. But that could be a cat, too. It could be like, she's like, look out for a cat. I really like this page, her little nest where she sleeps and she's got like a seashell in there but also like a stamp. That's cute. Here she is with a bunch of mail. Okay, here's a cat. So yeah, maybe maybe the first page there. Maybe she maybe she did draw a cat. Maybe that is a cat drawing then. I do like this cat, though. I like how his shadow is uh, a lot bigger than he is. In the rain. This one's cute. Sleeping in the chair, and she's got the little worm and the bug. I like when he uh, draws her as a bat. I don't know why. I think it's really cute. Okay, a bunch of spiders in this one. This looks like maybe it's inside her home. Uh, this is like a stamp up there is a picture on the wall and there's like a spool, and, like a block. This gotta be inside her house. Like some of the things she's found and like decorated it with. But there's a bunch of spiders. Maybe it's like her attic or something. Here she is. Looks like she's drawing something but she's also eating cheese. That's really cute. That looks like the cat from Kiki's Delivery Service. And I bet it is because he likes to include some Studio Ghibli characters in his books. Oh, this one's really cute. We have another mouse character here. We haven't seen that before. Or at least I haven't because I don't have all of his books. That might be the Matchstick Mouse's mom. That's what I bet it is because she's like baked cookies. Well, not cookies, but muffins for her or cupcakes maybe. The worm and the bug are there too, of course. That's really cute. We've got the little owl, and maybe this is like the owl's house up here. Or maybe one of these. I like his owls too. There, there are quite a few of the owls in the uh, Halloween one. Running through the leaves. Here she is again as the bat. This one's really cute. The spider's handing her a flower. That's so cute. It kind of reminds me of Charlotte's Web. I don't know why. Oh, I like this one in the bird nest with the baby birds. Putting on a puppet show, maybe for those baby birds that we just saw. Snail mail. I like that one a lot. Riding the little snail to deliver her letter. Or maybe she just got a letter. They're coming back from the post office. That one's really cute. Here she is drawing something, and she's got a lot of spiders again. I love the mushrooms in the background. Here she is as the bat. Well, maybe the bat's a different character then. Because that's probably the matchstick mouse there. Because I, she's had this backpack, I think in the summer one, she's shown with the same backpack. So maybe the bat is not the same character as the matchstick mouse. It's not her as a bat, it's like a, just a different character. Just a friend of hers, a bat. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, I like this one. She's protecting the spider from the rain. Yeah, see, here she is again with this same backpack. So maybe that, maybe it's not her dressed up as a bat. Maybe the bat is actually just a different character. Looking outside at the rain. They're staying warm. There's the bug and the worms, the spider up here. There's like... Some kind of little bug here and another little worm there. I like this one. She's like walking through the forest floor. She's down there. She's kind of tucked away in the corner. 
I like it when he does these where you can like really tell, tell the scale of the mouse, how little she is compared to all of the plants in the forest. Here she is, maybe playing hide and seek with the worm and the bug. All right, parading through the forest because she's got the stick and there's everyone following her. Not sure what she's holding here. It kind of, it looks like it could either be a sandwich, but also a harmonica. <laughs> Not so sure, but she's hanging out. She's doing something. I guess it could also be an open book. Oh, she's picking up the owl in this one. That's so cute. Maybe he fell out of the nest and she's taking him back. Okay, here she is eating like a cinnamon roll. This one's really cute. And I like the, uh, the spiral design in the page too that mimics the cinnamon roll. That's really neat. Knitting. She's knitted a little mouse friend. That's cute. Looks like she's probably out here raking the leaves, but she's using a fork to do it. That's super cute. I love this page. What do you call these? I always called them helicopters as a kid. The little seed pods that you pick up and drop and they spin. I always called them helicopters. I like that she's like flying on one. That's so cute. And that was the last page. You just get a couple of blank pages in the back. These books are so adorable. I am just in love with Morgan O'Brien's art. He could put out, gosh, he could put out like 20 of these and I bet I'd buy them all. This one is so cute though. The autumn theme, I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been a flip through of Matchstick Mouse, an autumn coloring book by Morgan O'Brien.